Hi everyone, my name is Sanjeev. In this video, I want to show you how to register Mule 4 runtime server to the AnyPoint platform and how to add the server to the server group. I will also show you how to deploy a Mule application to the server using server group. So for this example, I will run Mule 4 runtime inside Docker container. First, I will build the Docker Mule 4 runtime image and then I will run two container using Mule 4 runtime docker image. To create the Mule 4 runtime docker image, we have to build a docker file. I have already created a docker file for Mule 4 runtime docker image. So let me show you this docker file. The docker file is a set of instructions that uh, builds a docker image and uh, it gets executed when you run the docker image and create the container. So first statement is a from openjdk8 that means this is the parent docker image for this mule4 runtime docker image that we are going to create. This is a parent image. So this new image will be based out of this parent image. Then we have some statements. Run will remove the app directory. Then it will make the app directory. And here we are adding the mu runtime distribution GIF file to the app directory. So to create the mule4 runtime docker image we need to download this zip file mule runtime zip file from the mule website i have already downloaded this mule distribution mule4 runtime 4.4.0 you can also download the current version and that's what i am referring inside this docker image so this command adds this zip file to the slash app directory and here I am defining the bulk directory then I am running this run command it's running three command it's uh, unzipping the this zip file new runtime zip file and it's moving this uh, unzipped folder to the mule 4 folder and then at the end I am removing the zip file for cleaning purpose so here in this instruction in this statement i'm defining three volume mount point one for log another for application and third one for domain the expose command expose the ports so here i'm exposing 8081 to 8091 this is a range of port i'm exposing there's a couple of uh, expose command for the cluster these ports are required for a cluster that's why i'm exposing these ports and then i'm exposing 9999 and 9997 for interaction with the anypoint platform here at the end the cmd command execute the mule command that runs the mule mule runtime so this is a docker file now using this docker file I will build a docker image. For creating a docker image, you need to have the docker desktop. So you need to install docker desktop. If you have not installed already, you can watch my video how to install docker on Windows 10. I will provide a description in the comment section. I have already installed the docker desktop, so I will run this. Docker desktop. Docker desktop is starting. So Docker has started. Now to build the Docker image, I will open a command prompt and I will navigate to the directory where the Docker file is. So my docker file is in this directory. So I will go to this directory. 
and here is my docker file now i will build the docker image so i will use the docker build command this is a docker build command it build the docker image here we can specify the tag that will be associated with the created docker image so here once the docker image created it will be tagged with the sanjeev slash mule version 4.4 with the minus f option i'm telling what is the name of the docker file so i'll copy this command i will run the build command docker build command Okay, so I'm building the Mule 4 runtime Docker image with the tag Sanjeev slash Mule colon 4.4. So Docker image has been created. Let me check using Docker images command. So this is the image Sanjeev slash Mule 4.4. So it's created. Now I will go to the Docker desktop and you can see that Docker image has been created. In container, there is no container running right now. So now I will run two container, two mule for runtime. So I will run the Docker run command. So this is the Docker run command. Copy again. So it will run the docker run command and it will assign the 8081 container port to the 8081 TCP port of the machine. And it will use Sanjeev slash mule colon 4.4 mule 4 runtime docker image that we just created. Click enter. So container has been created, mule 4 runtime is running now, we can go to the docker desktop and we can see that we have one container running already. Now I will open one more prompt and I will run one more docker container. So I will use the same command. And this time I will make 8082 docker port to the 8082 ECP port of this machine. I will click enter. Now we are starting new docker container, new mule 4 runtime. So now one more mule 4 runtime is running inside docker container. We can go to the docker desktop and we can see that there's two container running the two mule 4 and timer running now i will log into the anypoint platform and i will register these uh, servers instances that is running inside docker container Okay, I logged into the Anypoint platform. I will go to the Runtime Manager. I will click Servers and I will add server. I will give the name dev server1. Copy command. I will go to the Docker desktop. And I will open the CLI, the first container. I will use Vashel, go to the Mule 4 and bin directory. Okay. 
we have amc underscore setup command and I will run this command. Click enter. So we can say that sending sign request to the any point management center. We can go to the any point platform. So server has been created. Now I will add one more server dev server2 copy command I will go to another container using terminal bash go to the mule4 win directory I will run amc underscore setup command and this command I copied from the any point platform. Okay, sending sign in request to the any point management center. Mule agent configured successfully. So we have configured a mule agent here. Now this mule agent can communicate with the any point platform. So we have already configured mule agent to the both the uh, container to the both mule for runtime this and this and we can go to the any point platform we can see that we have now two server that created now I will start this server so I have to restart from here restart and restart Now the server are restarting. Now in the running state, both are running. Let's go back to the AnyPoint platform. Refresh this. Now you can see that server one is running. Server two is also running. So both server are running. That means we have registered the DAP server one and DAP server two. And right now we are uh, communicating with the on-prem mule for runtime instances. These are containerized instances running inside Docker container. Now I will add these uh, both server to the server group. So I will create the group. I will give the name. dev server group and I will add these both the servers click create group now both these server got added to the dev server group so both server are running now I will deploy the mule application to these servers. So instead of deploying mule application to the individual servers, I will take the help of dev server group and I will deploy the mule application to the dev server group and it will be deployed to the both these servers inside the container. So I will use the AnyPoint platform and I will use the server group. I will deploy application to the server group and it will be deployed to both these mule4 runtime that is running inside docker container. I have a mule application. I will deploy this application from runtime manager using server group to these both these containers. So I will go to the any point platform. I will go to the applications. Deploy application. I will choose the file, upload file, I will select this application, click open, I will give the name, mule demo, 
I will select the target DAP server group and I will click deploy application. Before I click deploy application, let me show you the Docker container app directory. So I will go to the open terminal bsh mule apps ls minus l so there is no application is there right now let me check uh, another container So there is no application is there on both the containers. Now I will go to the any point platform runtime manager and deploy the application. So I'm now deploying the application to this uh, server group and this application will be deployed to the both the container. So it will be deployed to both the servers. View detail. So application is getting deployed. You can see that application is deployed and started this application. View demo. It's already started. Let me go to the another container. View detail. And here also you can see that mule demo has been started so we have deployed the application on both the containers you can also check the app directory so this is the application we just deployed from the runtime manager this is the application that we deployed here now let me go back to the another container so here also we can see that one application is there so the application has been deployed to the both the container both the server from the any point platform and we deployed to the single target that is server group so we deployed application to the dev server group and it deployed both the container so application is started on both the servers so this is all in this video i hope you understood how to dockerize the mule 4 runtime how to create the mule 4 runtime docker image how to run the docker container and how to register the mule 4 runtime servers that is running inside docker container to the anypoint platform and how to add these servers to the server group then using the single deployment target server group how to deploy mule application to the all the server added to the server group if you like this video, click the like button and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.